episode seven of Mega Man X and yes I'm still talking over old footage because I'm still bad. But don't worry, just this and one more episode and then it will be actual in-game voice, I promise. So yeah, it was about here where I was probably still complaining about Locked Octopus being an asshole. And the next thing according to my friend is if we wait for it, for me to finally select the yeah, yeah, that's it. We were going to Boomer Kwangers next, and yeah, I was looking at Scene Chameleon for some reason, but nope, we're going to this guy, Boomer Kwanger, and I remember commenting that this guy looked like a samurai who saw a stag build to like, ooh, what an interesting design, I shall put their pincers on my head. And now that I looked up at what Kwanger actually was, it is a type of stag beetle, so it kind of makes sense. And I'll tell you right now, you're go you're mostly going up in this level. This guy, he's he's not like your other Mavericks. Oh no, he's not living down in the water or on the ground. He's living the high life. He lives in a freaking tower, like guarded by robots and turret things that like to shoot at you randomly. And those guys, yeah. It's he does. I'll tell you now. He does have an elevator, but why you have to climb those initial first few steps boggles me. And oh yeah, this is the Mission Impossible lasers. I don't think I managed to trip. Like at first, I thought tripping them made those things appear, but those little bunch of jiggers actually fire off their own laser, which is cool. And I don't think I tripped any the first time I went through, I don't think. Oh, maybe I did. Because it looks like they shot at each other, but... So I guess I did trip on my first time through. I guess I'm not as mission... Oh, yep. That confirms it. Not as skilled at Mission Impossible as I thought. So yeah, then he's got, like, turtles guarding the, the ladders because, again, he's rich and he wants to, like... Really screws up its defenses with turtle tanks. That's what these are. That's what I'm calling these turtle tanks. And as you can see, they're ineffective. Now, this was the elevator I was talking about. Why you have to climb a series of ladders to get to said elevator, I don't know. And why there are spike crushy things of death on the way up said elevator, I don't know either. Like, something kind of. Um, some sort of miracle happened here. I'm not going to mention it now and, until we get to it, but it really surprised me. And yeah, that's as high as it goes. It doesn't even go all the way to the top. We still got to climb. And you want to know where we got to climb? Here. Because he was too lazy to put in... Yeah, Boomer Flanger was too lazy to put an access elevator for all his... For all his poor employees, so they have to wall climb and climb some ladders and basically they have to mirrors edge their way up here, which even then in on its own would be difficult because look at this, retracting platforms with guns shooting at you and yeah, as you can see I fell there because I was not grabbing the ladder and what was I saying? Oh yeah, those mini chameleons just hit chilling out on the ladder, it's like, yo, what's up? Am I blocking your way? It's too bad, because I'm gonna because I'm not gonna move. That's exactly what those are. They're just a bunch of ladder blockers. I'm not gonna say the other thing because reasons. And I'm pretty sure most of you out there know what I was originally thinking of saying. But enough about that. We're still climbing. Now we got two of these. Yeah, Boomer Clanker's really mixing it up here. Like, really adding to the dif difficulty difficulty challenge for his employees I managed to make it this far, which I highly doubt, because this is assuming they're all like, they're not robots, they're just average Joes. Which, based on how these Mavericks kind of work, they would they would use them in employees. And, oh yeah, this heart. Yeah, there were two ways you could go about getting this heart. The first way was if you used Boomer Wanger's weapon, which of course I had to defeat first. And the second was using, wait, yeah, the ice thing. Cause turns out if you charged it all the way, you'd create this little ice platform that you can ride off. And I guess the idea was that you were supposed to ride it off, jump, and sail 
way over to that like little S leg where the heart's sitting, wall jump up and then get your prize. And A press so you don't have to backtrack. Which I presume is what my friend was probably going for. But I, I think what my friend failed to realize is how terrible I am at this, especially with where the like, dash button is and how you have to sort of double tap. If that always felt awkward in this game, and oh yeah, that kept going in the wrong direction, that bugged the hell out of me. And so did that guy for some reason. I don't know why, because he didn't really get in my way. I think it was just a platform, and yep, I, I tried. Like, I know you should have dashed at that point, but again, uh, it's kind of hard to hold both the fire button and then quickly switch over to the B button. I know, I, and it's, and that was at this point, I was like running out of energy. So I think this might be my last attempt at trying this the old way before I call it quits. And yeah, I got, I got close, but again, no cigar. And yeah, that was when I said, that's that, I'm getting his weapon because you know, I've been backtracking to the stages where I missed stuff before, so I figured, why not, you know? And, yeah, that, yeah, I'm not sure if you saw, but I, I'm pretty sure I hit my head on those propellers, um, back there, and, which, really shocking, because in most other games, like, the propell, like, the propeller bit of a floating platform hurts you, but not here, it, it's just, doesn't, it's like a, it's just like a, it's treated like a part of the platform, which is weird. And I guess the explanation behind that is that Mega is Mega Man. He's got a cool helmet, but still, wouldn't he at least cause the platform to fall or something? Oh well. And oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that. So here is where Boomer Quanger lives. He lives in his pimped out house, like that's tactically stitched onto the other side of the main tower. And, yep, using the homie missiles here, because that's his weakness, as I learned. Because we're going in the proper order, and, yeah, this guy's pretty quick, even though I don't think stack videos are known for being quick. And, at first I'm trying to fight him normally, like, using the weapons. But, after I started to get down to, like, one health, and, wait, no, not after one health, after I die that time... I think I realized another cheap trick you can pull on this guy. And I think I'm about to pull it off here. Wait for it. Yep, there's that. There's Boomer Quanger. And the trick I pull is to... Um, not quite yet. Like, right now I'm sort of just running from him as he's teleporting everywhere. But you hang off the wall and then just spam fire those homing, homing missiles. So still constantly find him, do a shit ton of damage. And he can't get you off the wall because he's a scrub lord. Yeah. If there was one thing he did adapt from the stag beetle, it was the stag beetle's ability to fly. Because I'm pretty sure all bugs, even at the even at the size of a stag beetle, can at the very least climb a goddamn tree. And this poor bastard couldn't even climb a wall. So needless to say, he was pathetic. Much like Spark Mandrel, but not as bad as Spark Mandrel. And yet, with that, we get the boomerang color. Color? The boomerang color? Like, I meant boomerang cutter. Sheesh. So yeah, now we're hopping back, immediately back in, now that we got that power up, to get the little heart thing I missed. And I was looking in the inventory to... I think I was looking to check how much, um you know, tank health I had, and from what I, I think it was alright, but the other, like, three or four definitely needed to be topped off, and of course, second time through, that guy actually hits me when the first time through I killed him flawlessly. Again, beginner's luck, eh? So yeah, just running, quickly running through this a second time, again, this, this is kind of like that one scene in Dragon Ball where Goku sort of, if, you know that bit where Goku's climbing up that tower to meet, um, what's his face? The, what was the name of the cat guy? I, his name completely escapes me right now, but he was running up to the top and then the cat guy says, throws something of his off and he runs, 
back down again and then goes all the way back up. That's kind of what this feels like, you know? Like, you're redoing everything again, you know? But hey, at least for Goku, it benefited him in his training. And for me, it benefited me in that I got health. So yeah. Again, fighting this guy. Got a little bit extra health because... Apparently, I wasn't topped off. I must have got hit somewhere and I wasn't paying attention. And, yep, just walk right into him. That will totally not hurt you. God, this is still so awkward. And I really need to stop saying that because I'm sounding like a broken record again. And, oh, yeah, here's where the miracle thing happened. Like, watch this. I think it's, yep, yeah, right here. Somehow, I didn't get squashed or insta-killed by those spikes. And what I suspect it was like the immunity frames like that th that enemy gave me while I was being hit that saved me there, but I don't know. All I know is we're back up to this part where the employees must traverse every day in order to get to like Boomer Clanger's office. Which fortunately they won't have to anymore because I'm pretty sure once the humans regain control of everything, they're gonna tear this man trap of a thing down or wait man is it man trap or death trap that's the word god i'm coming up with so many weird words this session is driving me bonkers really but that's just me and we're climbing up and yep this is, is this where the two two flingy thingy yep this is where the two flingy thingy the two flingy thingy that's a weird, that's a weird way to call, um, retracting platforms, but whatever, that's how I roll, yo. And I think we are almost there, and yep, this was it. So, make, using Boomer Quanker's weapon makes it so much easier, because all you gotta do is fling it, back up a little, fling it, and it's all yours. So much easier than the pro way. Which, let's be honest, I was never going to accomplish. Maybe with practice I could have, but again, I was unable to accomplish it. And password screen, and that's, an again, where I called it. Because, again, one Maverick an episode. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you enjoyed my content. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you happen to know anybody who may like this kind of thing, share them with your friends and family. If you want to check me out on Facebook and Twitter, I put links to those in the description. And Harley just walked on my keyboard. I'm surprised she didn't work anything. And what else? Oh, yeah. I actually, I think I covered anything, everything. Oh, wait. So just a game we should play. Yeah, that's it. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. <sighs> One more, guys. And then everything will be back to normal, I swear.